all right so welcome to my youtube channel and today i'm going to be talking about your logbook how to fill your logbook for your industrial training so i'm going to be going right there i don't want to make the video very long so i'll make it as short as possible so i'm going to be telling you all you need to do in your logbook because questions have been coming like that how do i feel my logbook my industrial training logbook so if that have always been your question this video is for you so just sit back and i'll use a sample of the i'll use a sample here to to demonstrate that all right i'll be sharing the okay as you can see here this is a logbook so i'll be using this sample to demonstrate how you can see your logbook so if you open this if you open your logbook there are many sections here first okay please uh, ignore the name here this is the sample i'm actually using but ignore the name here now at this point here here you're supposed to put a passport here so you're supposed to have a passport here a passport is supposed to be here so you place your passport here then here where they said name of student you put your name there and as you can see in bracket there is a surname first so you put your surname first before your other name your surname actually means your parents name now matriculation number you put your matric number there in this space provided then the next thing is department your department you put your department there then faculty your faculty year of study now your year of study is supposed to be your level so your year of study should be year three for those persons doing it in year three or if you are doing your it in year four your year of study should be year four hope that is clear enough all right so next one is name of company stroke establishment attached so where are you doing your it is it a company you write it there is it uh say is it any company any any organization where you're doing your it is it lab research lab anywhere write the name of the organization there the next thing is name of industry based supervisor name of industry based supervisor so you you are in your industry where you're doing your it you have a supervisor there that's the name of the person that should be there the name of departmental coordinator normally they will assign departmental coordinators so if you don't know your departmental coordinator yet you can go to your department and ask there is always a departmental coordinator so you write the name of the person there now if you follow on you see other segments of this other segments of this logbook you can read through actually so you can get the whole graphs of it so you can get the whole graphs but i'm going to go straight to what you need to do where you need to feel all these parts for now you can leave it like that but in page 54 this format this one i'm using page 54 here yeah, you have a whole lot to do here page 54 is and 55 is divided into three sections as you can see here part a yeah part part b here yeah, and where is the part c and part c here yeah. so the part a is for you part b and c is not for you so you are going to feel only part a because i've seen a scenario where someone actually feed part b and c which is a very very big mistake feeling part b and c is a very big mistake so don't do that first put your passport here and next you feel only part a and what is part a talking about he said name in full you write your name registration show magic number you write your magic number next is a course of study you write your course your the course you're studying year of study what level are you name of institution in the name of name of institution there you write the name of the your university name and address of the establishment of attachment so you write the place where you're doing your it there then the department section what department are you doing your it in that organization so take for example you are doing it in you're doing your IT in hospital let's assume you're doing your IT in hospital and as you're doing your IT in hospital uh what department of the hospital are you doing your IT what department is it in let's say in the lab 
if it's in the lab you write yes the laboratory unit you write it out then another thing there is the next thing there is period of attachment from dash to dash one thing you should notice that your it is for a period of six months six months so anything you're writing here they say from dash to dash from which month to which month so let's assume you started january so you can write january to Gen you count six months from january january february february march april may june i think that should be june right june or july so you write the from the month you started and you count six months from there you fill it up there then number of weeks so number of weeks if four weeks are in one month six months we have how many weeks so if one if four weeks are in in one month what you are doing now is four times six four times the six months which will give you what which will give you 24 right am i right okay 24 weeks so you write 24 weeks number of weeks 24 then total allowance received by student how much did they pay you if they paid you write it out to for me when i did my i did not see cobble <laughs> i did not see any money so for me i left that empty now brief outline of experience relevance of training provide okay so you are going to write the uh, experience you've gotten so far so you provide an outline of your experience what you've gained so far and how the the, the how your training is relevant to your field of study let's take for example you are in let's say uh, what department should i use now let's say you're in biochemistry as for example and you're doing your it in lab in hospital lab so if you're doing your it in hospital lab uh what you need to do in outlining your relevance you can start with something like this um, i've acquired practical knowledge of things we learned theoretically in classroom so basically you are trying to tell them that you are doing practicals of uh, what you did theoretically in the classroom or you can say something like you are exposed to equipments and facilities that made you understand better the theoretical work you did in classroom thereby exposing you to in-depth knowledge of your course so with that you've written something you don't need story in fact all these ones they're not using it to grade you they're not using it to grade you but it's good to write something the next one there is where were you attached last if applicable so have you been attached somewhere else before you went to another place to do your it there is for you another one there is the next one there is total number of weeks engaged in industrial attachments and this particular one they used to check it very well especially when you go to itf office to submit total number of weeks engaged in industrial attachment it's supposed to be six months and six months we've calculated that six months is 24 weeks so make sure it is 24 because if it is not complete or if you write 24 year and you reported you have in reporting your logbook is not up to 24 weeks they will not sign it for you in itf office so your 24 weeks if you're writing 24 weeks here make sure you report up to 24 weeks in this log book good now the signature of students and dates so you write your signature here majestically and the date the date have no issue you can write any dates there now the part b is to be filled by your employer that is where you did your it where you did your it they are supposed to fill that for you then part C is supposed to be filled by your external supervisor. They will assign you an external supervisor. And your external supervisor will fill that for you. Someone actually filled this part. And I was like, so what will the supervisor fill now? Graded himself. I was I was shocked. <laughs> but don't make that mistake. So you leave all those parts. Alright, that's that. But please, if you're not subscribed to my channel, what will you what will you lose now? Please click on the subscribe button now and subscribe to my channel click on the subscribe button like comment so that i will know you are actually following me if you're watching and you've not subscribed to this channel you're not doing well you're not doing well it's not empty and they will not charge you for subscribing just click on the subscribe button and like and comment so i can i will know someone is actually following me now back to the work let's look at this one here and this is what i really need to emphasize on 
yes is okay this is where you're supposed to do your report this is where you're supposed to be reporting your log book weekly now let's assume this week is your first week you are done with your first week and you, you are supposed to be reporting your log book week on weekly basis but you'll be reporting every day like what you are you have five days in a week assuming you'll be reporting those on those five days but yeah some persons have problems on what to feel especially in their first week of resumption because most places first week of resumption they don't teach much now if you see here they said for sketches diagrams and graphs then dates make sure you write your dates now you fill in your you yeah this place you are to draw you are to draw yeah anything you can draw i will tell you what you can draw there then student signature so student signature here yeah, you sign your signature the dates you are to you have to write the date there then week assessment is not for you this attendance punctuality and other stuff is not for you only what you have to do here is the student's signature and date the rest it no consign you leave it then if you come to this place actually this one is the first thing you have to fill then any diagram you have for it you draw it at the back here at the back here so this first then you go to the back now let's say this is your week one of resumption and if you check up here you see week ending week ending now week ending is a week ending is you know you have let's say month you work mondays to fridays here you have mondays to saturday in this book for this person that works six days but the last day of the week is the date you're supposed to write here let's assume monday is first of monday was let's assume that monday was first of august and friday is 5th of august what the date you'll be writing here is 5th of august because that is the week ending that is the day that the week ends or if you are on ends on saturday you write there too now let's assume in your in your week one they didn't teach you anything in your it they didn't teach you anything and because uh, for some reasons and you are struggling with what to report this is what you can do a quick one what you can do actually here is on monday you can write introduction to laboratory staff because it is obvious that in every organization the first week you familiarize yourself with those working there so on monday you can write introduction to laboratory staff now on tuesday you can write uh, introduction to laboratory apparatus introduction to laboratory apparatus because obviously in every organization they always introduce you to the lab apparatus the third one year wednesday you can write uh, safety rules safety rules i know safety rules uh, safety rules is a little broad so on thursday you can write safety rules continuous safety rules continuous friday you can write laboratory procedures or fridays you can always write a recap of the week recap or review of the week so the last day you can always write review of the week hope that is taken then here for week one you can draw since you talked about safety or laboratory apparatus you can draw any lab apparatus you have here you can draw test tube you can job you can draw lab coats you can draw safety boots you can draw, draw gloves and others okay you move on to week two week two maybe with two you learned just one topic in the whole week how will you split it to uh, five days or six days you learned only one thing that week let's say you learned uh, malaria test let's assume you learned malaria test monday you can write introduction to malaria test introduction to mal malaria test tuesday you can write materials needed for malaria test Wednesday, you can write procedures on carrying out the malaria test. Thursday, you can write malaria test proper. Friday, you can write recap of the week or review of the week. Then you come here and draw the test strip, the things you need in malaria to carry out malaria test and others. But remember, all these ones are not for you. Just student signature and date. That's all. The rest, forget about it. Okay, so that's basically that.
until that you carry that you do the same thing to others because they are basically the same thing and until you get to week 24 hold on just hold on so you get to week 24 this comment by the officials is another place that another person made mistake don't write anything here of course you are not an official are you comment by the officials don't write anything here name of official signature of officials leave it empty itf office they will do that for you they will do that they are supposed to write something there and sign and sign comment by the officials don't write anything here i repeat don't write anything here so generally what you are to do that we enhance uh, so you don't have any problem as you go on is make your handwriting very neat avoid much cancellation if possible write in a different place before transferring it to your logbook it will it will help and another thing that we also help you is hey, when you are writing uh in as much as you want to complete the whole weeks please avoid avoid a uh, repetition uh, repetition don't write what you wrote on monday write on tuesday write on no no it's, it won't make sense instead rephrase or you can write that same thing continuous do you understand continuous and any question you have anything i was not able to address i'm trying to keep the video short anything i was not able to address here and any question you have drop it in the comment section i'm going to respond as soon as i see it i'm always happy to respond to your comments please drop a like for me if you gain something on this video and please before you go subscribe 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 that's the only way you can encourage me that is the only way you can encourage me subscribe thank you and for those that are already subscribed thank you for always coming back to watch our videos i love you and i would like to see you watch my videos and comment also have a nice industrial training have a nice work see you back in school bye